guys, SJ from IgnoreLimits.com here. Just coming at you guys today with a book review of a book I finished reading uh, about a day and a half ago. That's Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger by Mike Matthews. As you can see, I've got the Kindle version here. Um, I have the paperback version, which is on the way as well. Um, so Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger is a sequel to Mike's previous book, um, Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, which is a guide for men on how to build muscle, muscle and gain strength naturally without any you know, pseudoscience supplements without spending 30 hours a week in the gym or, you know, yeah, but spending crazy amounts of money on food and, you know, other, un other unnecessarily unnecessary things and, you know, performing pointless exercises and hurting yourself, which the majority of gym goers do when they first start out, unfortunately. So Beyond Big Lean is Stronger is just that. It's a sequel. It's not a rehash of the original book. So the book's aimed at people who have been training for, I'd say, a minimum of two to three years. Um, Mike actually states in the book sort of the starting point for this routine. So you should be bent, you should be squatting and deadlifting about 1.75 times your body weight, um, overhead pressing your body weight, so one times your body weight, and bench pressing 1.35 times your body weight for about four to six reps, guys. So if you're not at that strength level yet, um, I recommend fo following a more beginner-based program. Um, if you are up to, that pro up to that stage where you've been training for, you know, two, three or four years, um, and obviously, train naturally that is guys so the newbie gains slow down after the first year or two um, and then progression becomes quite slow and people become um, you know, quite complacent to continue training they get frustrated some people quit some people um, result to anabolic steroids and things like that just to keep progressing but um, in this book Mike will show you exactly what to do to continue to build muscle strength and get shredded after you've sort of surpassed those newbie gains to keep progressing in your third fourth fifth sixth year of training guys I think Mike himself has been tra training for around 10 years now. Um, he's written a heap of best-selling books. He definitely knows what he's doing. Um, the main thing I like about this book as well is, you know, there's like the, Mike tells, that, tells you exactly how to eat, how to calculate your calories, um, the work, the exercise you should be performing, and what sort of rate, routine. Um, he delves into other types of dieting, like, you know, paleo, intermittent fasting, things like that. But the thing is, Throughout the, the course of this book, there's over 270 references, guys. So when Mike says something, he makes a claim or he you know, recommends you perform a certain exercise or you know, diet a certain way, there is numerous studies to back up each point. So there's no bro science in this book. Um, as you know, I've been training for four, going on five years myself, um, and I definitely agree with pretty much everything Mike says in the book. So I, w well, I won't go too much into the, um, the actual regime. I definitely recommend you read the book to find out more about it and to you know, adapt it to suit you. Um, but in order to continue to gain muscle after you've been training for several years, guys, you need to manipulate the, the rep ranges you're doing in each workout. So in Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, you learn how to um, target the, you know, the slow twitch, the fast twitch, different types of muscle fibers, guys, which is going to be essential for gaining both size and strength moving forward past those new gains, like I said. Um, Mike understands as well, and you know, he knows that you, not everyone wants to spend 20 hours a week in the gym, guys. So he shows you how to maintain your size, you know, gain strength, etc. Um, stay lean, get shredded while you're not training, you know, the normal five, six times a week. So if you can only get to the gym once or twice a week, that's fine. Um, you'll learn what to do when you're traveling with dietings and things. Mike will show you, tell you the best way to sort of carry on. I wouldn't say to continue cutting, but to, to maintain where you're at and not gain any excess body fat, you know, while you're away, while you're off your current regime, guys. Um, so the, the book covers basically, you know, gaining strength and size, so gaining strength, the aesthetic portion of it. So basically you learn how, you've already built, you know, if you've been training for, you know, two, three, four years, you've already built a solid physique. Um, you may have some lagging body parts. Um, for example, my biceps are probably a bit smaller in comparison to my triceps and my shoulders, which is something I'm focusing on, guys. Um, and you'll learn how to hone in and hit those um, lagging muscle groups by, you know, training them in a different way, training them slightly more per week, things like that, guys. There's a few different approaches to that. Um, Mike also talks about the golden ratio, which is actually um, apparent in nature and a whole bunch of other areas, guys, and that's used to calculate your ideal um, body measurements. So, for example, your, you know, your bicep, your arm circumference should be the same as your calf circumference. Um, using your, your dominant wrist to compare to other parts of your body, guys. Um, obviously timing that by a certain, certain number to get the ideal sort of symmetry in size for your body. I mean, today, 
you know, Jay Cutler, Ronnie Coleman, all these guys using, you know, insulin and growth hormone, etc. They don't have that athletic look like the, you know, the bodybuilders like Frank Zane, for example, and Arnold had. So you're not going to be able to build a physique like them naturally, full stop basically, guys, but you are going to be able to build the most athletic, proportional physique possible by, you know, honing in on your weak points, carrying on with the routine like this, getting strong, um, getting aesthetic, and focusing on health, health as well, guys. So Mike talks about, you know, the proper nutrition, so not just, you know, flexible dieting, getting calories in, calories in through whatever crap foods you can find, but getting good quality food and using supplements that not only assist in your, you know, your cutting or your strength, but also overall health supplements, guys. So I highly recommend basically everything that's in this book. Um, and that pretty much sums it up, guys. So if, you, if you're looking to stay natural or you are natural and you want to continue to build lean muscle and strength after the first couple of years of lifting, I cannot recommend Big, Beyond Bigger, Leaner, Stronger enough, guys. So check it out. Um, if you've already read it, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching.